All right. I told y'all I was gonna make a video when I started working on my blind. So here it is. I'm actually about a day behind. I guess you could say. I started working on the blind a few days ago. Didn't finish. Run out of materials. <clears throat> kind of misfigured on some things. And then some other things come up, had to go to work, had some other things to do. So anyway, here it is, a couple days later, back working on the blind. I've got, <clears throat> I've got my cross members cut for each end. Um, I've got to cut my, my long poles for this side and that side. And then I've got to get the rest of it together. And anyway, I'll show you where we are right now. What I'm working on right now, I'm putting my my nineties together, you know, to make my turn and go towards the front of the boat. So, if you give me just a second, I give you a little close up on that. All right, here's how I did my nineties. I bought these uh, these nineties right here. They're already, I guess you could say, prefab. They're pre-bent. It's three-quarter inch conduit. A quarter inch aluminum conduit um these 90s these 90s you know they don't they don't fit together you got to buy these little couplings here well these couplings come with set screws that got that that go in them they're threaded and i've actually taken the screws out there sitting right here but they those little screws screw in these holes and you screw it down and it's supposed to for the lack of better words it you know it just kind of keeps pressure on it but over time, if you using it like I do, with duck blind, letting it up, letting it down, it uh, it gets loose in there, and then it causes it to back out or break. And I've had these these things break before in the past. They're just they're just old thin pot metal type aluminum stuff. They don't have a whole lot of tensile strength. So what I have done this year, I'm trying something different. I have taken I drilled some holes in it and put pins in it with some R clips. Now I ran out of pins and R clips, so when I got over here to this side, I had to get I had to go get some some bolts, and that's just a that's just a regular old carriage bolt. I think it's quarter inch carriage bolt with a you know flat washer, a lock washer, and a lock nut or stop nut as they call it. <clears throat> I like a I like the term lock nut. But anyway, that's holding it secure. But still, in the past, I have had them break. So I'm going to try something. I get, I'm getting tired of building a blind every single year. Every time duck season comes around, you know, a month before, here we go. We got to build a new blind because I destroyed the blind last year. Blind worked fine. Uh, but I always end up breaking it in these 90s, in these joints where they break. These couplings. So this year, I have got some stuff called Fiber Fix. Um, actually, what I've got is made by Loctite. It's the same thing. It, it looks like the material of a cast. Like when you break your arm, your doctor, you know, wraps it up and it's kind of wet and warm, and then it sets up and dries really, really hard. Um, so I'm gonna take. It's made for pipe repair. You know. Anyway, so I'm gonna take this Fiber Fix when I get everything assembled. And I'm going to wrap the, every one of these joints to help strengthen it. That way it will, that will eliminate the flex. Because, I mean, right now, it's got, it's got some flex. You can see that. It's got some play in it. So I'm thinking if I wrap it with that fiber flex, it'll, it'll strengthen that joint up and everything will be fine. <clears throat> but that's the, the rear. I've got this corner here completely done. Got to do that corner and then move to the front. Got to assemble all that. So when I get to the next, let me get these corners done. I get to the next couple steps and uh, I'll tune you back in. All right, this thing here says you got to, <clears throat> you got to put on these little gloves and uh, remove this stuff out of the wrapper to activate it. And you got to. Soak it in some water for 20 seconds to activate it. And uh, that's it right there. 
you can get it at your local hardware store, Home Depot, Lowe's, you know, yada, 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 whatever. Look at here. Ooh, got a little, little chartreuse here. Thing, this thing's going to be covered up with a blind. Now soak it in the water for about 20 seconds. We'll sit here and just kind of shoot the breeze while we got that going. But <clears throat> anyway, we got everything bolted up. I took my Matai bow and cut the bolts off. There ain't nothing, you know, poking through, no more than a nut. So we got that. So now what we're going to do, we're going to let that stuff soak for a few minutes. Once it soaks for, well, I'll say for a minute, a few minutes, 20 seconds. We're going to wrap these joints, this one, this one, and so forth. <clears throat> and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see how it works out. I think it's going to strengthen these things up pretty good. That hopefully, hopefully to the point, hopefully it'll strengthen them up enough that there won't be enough, won't be no flexibility in the blind, in the joints. Maybe this blind, <clears throat> maybe this blind would last me, you know, a couple of seasons, two or three seasons. The longer the better, hey, right? You have to excuse me, I don't wipe my mouth off down with my arm and here it is the second week of November and I'm spraying down with bug spray because mosquitoes are touching away down here in Alabama. Ridiculous. Two weeks before Thanksgiving and we're wearing bug spray in Alabama. Ridiculous. Now I've got all falling my lips. <coughs> Tastes real good. Y'all try it sometime. Alright, that's been about 20 seconds. Probably a little over. What we, I don't have no idea how you're supposed to cut this stuff. So we're going to take this stuff here and we're going to wrap it. We're, gonna, we're just going to wrap. That little kind of poke the hole, that little R clip I got down there. I'm kind of poke the hole in it. I kind of thought that might happen. But hey, it ain't that big a deal. I don't think. I think I should have got my pocket knife out of my pocket. Since this stuff cures, well not cures, but it's it's it operating strength in 30 minutes. So it says. It says in 30 minutes. You know, if this if we were actually fixing fixing a a leaky pipe, that you could turn the water back on pressurize the line so 30 minutes that's not very long and I've seen this stuff on some actual pipes before and it dries I'm talking about hard as a freaking rock just like a like a cast on your arm you know that's basically kind of kind of like what it is I, I did a little research on it and it was actually designed by an, an orthopedic doctor who um, used casting material, casting cloth to fix his uh, muffler or tailpipe or something like that on his four-wheeler on a ride one time. So, it, <laughs> I mean, you know, it's that's, that's what it is. I'm going to put the rest of this on this side just to use it up. I feel like I got enough over there. Chartreuse. I'm pretty sure I thought the package said it was red, but not that it matters. Because it don't go be covered up anyway. <clears throat> It 
does not matter what color it is. It will be covered up regardless. I done broke both of my arms, you know, and I remember that was the best feeling in the world. When they, when they wrapped that, when they put that cotton cloth around my arm, you know, for the inside of the cast, and then when they started wrapping that cast on, man, <laughs> that thing was hot, warm. Man, it felt good when they wrapped it. As crazy as that is, crazy as that sounds. I guess that was the only enjoyable thing out of the whole process, breaking your arm. <laughs> Rest of it wasn't worth a crap. It hurt. We're going to see. We're going to see how this stuff here works out. <clears throat> this one sitting here drying or whatever it's kind of cool outside today it's in the I think I think the, it's like 66 which you know I don't know where y'all might be in your part of the world but I might say 66 man that ain't cool that, that's warm yeah it probably is if you're in Iowa or somewhere but South Alabama that's uh kind of cool but I still got on short sleeve shirt because it feels good all right so we're gonna we're gonna let that set up for a little bit and uh check back in with you whenever it is uh has set up we'll see the finished product all right get y'all get a little look at the finished product here I got I wrapped you know all the joints here if you're wondering what the brown wrap or brown tape is um, I put that on there after I had done got to my third joint up there <clears throat> kind of look back in the very ends of the fiberglass wrap it kind of lifted up a little bit so what I did was I just took that brown tape and I just wrapped that in just to hold that in place because I can't be you know, I can't hold this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece. I can't hold all those at the same time and let them till they sit. So I just done that there, and I'm not even going to take that off. I'm going to leave it. Probably wouldn't come off anyway because this fiberglass wrap has a resin on it, and it dries. I mean, it's it's hard. I mean, you look, you can't even mash a dent in that stuff. It is hard as a rock, just like a cast would be if you had a cast on your arm so i've got got all that done all that wrapped up and it is hard as a rock so anyway now next part is to put our top well i've never had a blind with an opera with a with a top on it and you know ducks in the air you got to have something covering you from the top where they can't see down inside of you and you can actually, you know, kind of look up and be locating the ducks as they're working above you and, you know, not be pie-faced and all that. Which we wear face paint, but still, you know. So, I've got this railing here. This was actually cut off of my camp. I took that off my camper. And uh, it's been leaned up here behind the shop for three or four months. And I debated on hauling it off, throwing it away. And then I finally, you know, but I learned a lesson a few years ago. Don't throw nothing away because as soon as you throw it away, you need it again. So I try not to throw anything away now that I might need the next, I think I might use one day or in the next 10 years. <laughs> so I'm accumulating junk. <clears throat> so what I decided to do was I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut it down a little bit. It's too long. And I'm going to attach it to here and it'll lay against this. So when this blind comes up, 
this top will fold over some even more and it'll give us a you know a top so you know one of my favorite times to hunt is just like right now it's spitting rain out here just slight drizzle it's when i love to run, love to hunt so you know we'll have a top get the rain off of us and uh, we'll be good to go so i'm going to do the modifications to this and get it up here and get it ready to go and uh I'll check back in with you when we get to that point. All right, so here is the scissor blind set up, and I've got the top put on. The ropes are on there to keep it from when I fold it over, keep it from going too far that way. So now that's what it looks like when it's all set up. So. Next step's going to be to put my wind blocker on, which is a tarp. I use a tarp because it sheds water. It doesn't sheds water well, and it doesn't hold water. You know, doesn't absorb water. And then on top of the wind blocker will be the camo netting. So let's get started on that, and I'll tune you in when we get to that point. All right, <clears throat> now update we've got the uh the wind blocker on the blind i'm running out of light here so you know that's the top of the blind across there you can see got the zip ties on this is got the blind weighted so it won't be blowing around with the wind it's on this is like from the front here I got, a, I got zip ties sticking up everywhere. We got to go back and trim them off. Wind blocker's on. Set on the front. Got it weighted again so it sheds water and the wind doesn't blow it. And it's just blowing around everywhere. So what we've got left to do is put our camo netting on it. Put the camo netting on it, which will cover all these voids and whatnot. And uh, that wrapped it up. Probably gonna end up tying in some some Avery blind grass into the netting, kind of break up the outline of it some. But you know, the camo netting will fold out, cover up this space here and around the motor. And also, I have a motor cover that's in the compartment in there. The netting will hang over the front here, so that birds won't be able to, oh look there's a big hole right there with some faces in it no it'll be the netting will be hanging down so to break up the profile and images and it will also I have a big piece that's made that drapes over this that covers the front deck and the light bar and whatnot so anyway, that's where we're at right now probably fixing the call today I'm running out of light and uh probably get the can the knitting and stuff on tomorrow and so until next time this is where we're at all right here's the update <clears throat> got the camo knitting on the blind got a lot of extra here that could flip over help cover the motor but what I've got, I had a lot of excess left over on the ends that I cut off. I'm going to take it and zip tie it together, and I'm going to make me a motor cover out of it. It'll just slip over it. Um, it's pretty long. The motor would be down in the water, break up the outline of the boat. Um, walk out here. I'm still going to cut some of these zip ties off. Um, we'll say this. I'm not exactly happy with the color pattern I, I was under the impression it was going to be mostly or all this tan and brown but it's got a lot of green in it kind of gives it a woodland look not that happy with it i had a lot of glare on my tarp when my wind blocker <laughs> but it's actually a tarp so I, I took some spray paint and just kind of just went all over that try to break up that glare and it it helped a lot <coughs> This is the front side. You know, see, we'd be up inside there. Now, what I'm going to do, what I've got to do now, 
is I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna get in the blind and I'm gonna cut some holes. Maybe one big long rectangle or something like that, I don't know, in the tarp top. And uh, come in, cause you, you gotta be able to see birds working. You know, if, they, if you're watching them out here in front of you and they turn and get behind you, you need to be able to see whether they kept going, whether they're circling, whether they're supposed to sit down. You, you, know, you know, you need to know what's going on. So I'm going to cut some holes in that, you know, because you can see through this netting. I'm going to cut some holes in it so I can see and watch birds. Uh, had a lot of, I left a lot of excess on the front intentionally. See, here's the edge of it here. But I did that so, you know, we can cover the front deck of the boat light and everything a little a little GoPro mount <laughs> but anyway so I gotta go back now I gotta go around and cut all these zip ties off I got them sticking up everywhere I'm gonna go cut all this stuff off and um, make my little motor cover but I'm thinking you know it should it should roll up pretty nice yeah that's my plan is to roll it up <clears throat> so, if you're wondering i got a no matter if i saying i got a piece of inch and a half pvc inside that i suppose holds it down so anyway all right so i'm gonna go around and cut these zip ties off start working on my motor cover and cut my hole and uh i'll uh get an update when I get to that point and uh, maybe do the next video from inside the blind all right now we inside the blind this is what it looks like from inside mode cover got that done <clears throat> now I got a few more small things I'm gonna take some paint and paint this we got to hide this chartreuse even though I don't think they'll see it but I see it, so it bothers me. So it's got to go. <coughs> I got my holes cut. Got the holes cut right here. You can see right there. Go across. That one down there got a little carried away with the knife. A little bit bigger than I planned. You know, it's kind of going for this size here. But hey. Oh well, it is what it is. It's too late now. So I then my wind blocker tarp slash tarp was uh, sagging, of course, where it had been cut. So I had to zip tie that to the netting. So I got to cut all them zip ties loose. I got all my 10,000 zip ties hanging down to there. I'm a believer in zip ties. A big believer in zip ties. Zip ties and duct tape. Two things a redneck, a redneck cannot do without. You can do anything with zip ties and duct tape. And flex seal. Flex seal in the can that you brush on, and that new stuff I seen on TV, the flex glue. I used some of it the other day, and uh, I'm here to tell you, awesome. You should try it. It's pretty good stuff. Anyway, I'm not paid by Flex Seal to advertise, so I'm gonna shut up about that. But anyway, I got to. I'm gonna paint these little places here. I can't stand that. And see, I got a little glare. You can see a little glare on my tarp, so I'm gonna take some paint. A little green, tan, black, whatever, just kind of just just all over that. Got to break up that glare. So, and I'm gonna paint the poles, you know, because they're still aluminum color, silver color, galvanized. So I'm gonna, I'll paint them black or green or you know whatever I got, <clears throat> just to eliminate any shine sunlight might get on it. So, but other than that, that is it for the most part so i'm gonna get that little bit done and get the blind packed up and uh i'll do a final video to show you what the end product looks like once it's packed up and ready for transport so y'all stay tuned until i get that one up it's been a long process y'all just bear with me but i think uh i think if anybody's wanting to know how to do a good scissor blind with the top that folds open i think this is a good option here you know, speaking of folded up and you're sitting here in your chair and you're watching ducks out here. Oh, that's all right. Here we go. All right, they're coming in. They're over the decoys. They got feet out. Let's get them, boys. Boom, 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 boom. You know, 
See, it just folds back. There it is. All right. Got them back, and you fold your top back. There it is. That's pretty awesome. Pretty easy. Pretty simple. All you got to do, stick your hand up. Flip that. Boom. Let it go. Now you wide open to the world. All my dip nets. Got plenty of them too, huh? Anyway, you got all this up. Here's your blind. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. You got all the ducks out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. We done shot them. We got... Kill 15 out of that group. All right, man, here we go. All right, let's, all right, let's, let's get back in the blind. Here we go. Pretty simple. Ha! That's it. All right. Y'all stay tuned for the final video. All right, all right. Here we are. <clears throat> here we are with the finished, finished product. Blind is let down, packed up, and ready for the highway. Got a little additional tie in here. Hold these corners. This stuff used to take some beating going down the road, wind and whatnot. But I got rope here, rope over there, bungee t cord there, rope, bungee cords, a rope, a rope, a bungee cord, and a bungee cord. But, uh, that's it. Packs up. It looks real big and bulky when it's set up, but it's really not. It uh, folds down and rolls up and packs up pretty tight. It actually takes up way less space than what I've been using in the past. I've been using the Avery real grass, and it, uh, which is like real sawgrass woven into sheets. And it, when, it, when it closes down, collapses and rolls up, it's bulky. Like it'll take up all the way out here pretty much to the edge of my seat. And the only open space in the boat is what you see between those two compartments right there and it doesn't leave very much you know you got guns and stuff shoved up under the blind and it's flapping going down the road it just takes up a lot of space so i really like this it has a whole lot more space in the boat but uh still think i'm gonna get a little some of the avery blind grass it's just strands of grass and you can just kind of tie it and half hitch it into this stuff just to kind of help it blend in a little bit with the Saw grass and stuff that's in the marshes where we hunt. I think that'll that'll help. I think it really needs that, but uh, I don't have any of that. Got to order some. But all right, that's it. I hope that helps y'all out. Gives you an idea how to do a DIY scissor blind with a top. Top is a must. I'm telling you, if you never had a blind with a top, if you ever have one with it, you'll never go without it. Last year I built a scissor blind identical to this, but with no top. And about halfway through the season, I had to I had to make me some kind of top because I mean the ducks could see you. They fly over you one time. I had some mallards working one time, and they they were working really good. And they swung real 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 wide one time around the spread. And when they did, they got above me, seen right down inside the blind, and it just I mean they that was it. They turned and they never come back. So you gotta have a top. So anyway, now we got one. I'm really happy with it. Hopefully I built it sturdy enough. All my corners are built up and beefed up enough. It'll last me hopefully two or three seasons, hopefully more. But we'll see as the season goes how it things hold up. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, we'll be checking y'all next time. Duck season will be here in about two weeks. So be looking for some hunting videos coming up soon. Thanks for watching.